Hey guys, so what's good? Okay, um, so, so I thought really long and hard. Um, so I thought really long and hard. Um, I, this has been going through my mind for about a couple days now, and I thought really long and hard about it, and I've been thinking and thinking constantly. And then I wake up 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning because I was hungry, so. You know, no, you know, naturally me. And I check my Facebook and I see these statuses and I'm just like, yo. So, I, so I've been thinking all up until this morning. I've been up thinking. I did a lot of thinking, as you can probably tell. Um, I finally come to this conclusion. <sighs> Girls are stupid. Okay, um, before I go any further, before I go any further than this. Let me put let me put this out there. I'm putting this out twice. Once right now, and I'm and I'm gonna say this again at the end of the video. So that way, no way I can say that I didn't say this because I said this twice. This does this doesn't include everybody. Not everybody is like this. I know this. Not all girls and not all guys are this way. So if this video is not talking about you, don't feel offended. If you know people like this, please, by all means, please, show them this video. I want them to see it, because I want them to realize how stupid they are. Girls are really dumb, especially when it comes to, like, relationship issues and problems. Okay. Um, I don't want... Please don't, please don't be these type of people that will be in a relationship, have a whole bunch of problems, and publish your problems. Don't be those people because nobody cares about what you're going through. Nobody cares, believe it or not. I know that sounds harsh, but it's true. Nobody cares about what goes on in your relationship. Maybe some of your friends do care. That's cool. But in reality, nobody cares about your relationship. And even furthermore, you really shouldn't even really be posting your relationships on social media. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's cool to, you know, post, uh, hey, happy eight, happy eight months, baby, or, you know, post wedding pictures. Yeah, stuff like that, that's cool. If you're posting problems that you guys are having, oh, my, oh, my man don't love me no more because he, because I asked him to eat my ass and he, and he said no, he wouldn't do it. Stuff like that, that should never, ever, ever, ever make it to social media. Don't do it. Because... People formulate um, ideas about you. I know there's a I know there's a better word, but I can't think of that word right now. But um, people will start to formulate you know things about you and look at you the wrong way, or look at you in a way that you do not want them to look at you. So don't do it. And then the next, I love these people. Uh, these uh, I love these girls. The ones that got the abusive boyfriends that you, the, that they won't leave. Okay. Um, me personally, if I'm in a relationship where uh, my for for say if I'm a girl, if my boyfriend is hitting on hitting me, you know, giving me black eyes and bruises all over the place, all because I made the sandwich wrong because I added pomalone cheese instead of regular cheddar. Best believe I'm leaving that bitch. But before I do. I'm kicking his ass, and then I'm going to get my family involved and have them kick their ass. Kick his ass. And then I'm leaving. Simple enough. Okay, maybe I won't add the, you know, family brother. I don't want them involved in my bullshit. But I'm kicking his ass before before I get out the house. Like, plain and simple. Like, you're not going to hit me and then expect me to not hit you back. Like, that's... No. But I love the girls that have the abusive boyfriends that will let them beat the shit out of them. And still be with them. Either because they said... Baby, I'm sorry. I did not mean to hit you. I will never do it again. Because at that point, if you're believing shit like that, you're blinded by love and you're stupid. Uh, and then, the, and then the other excuse is because they're too scared themselves to leave. Like they're, they're too, they're too scared because they think they're gonna, they're gonna get hit much harder. Either that, or he's probably gonna force them, to, force her to stay in the relationship. If you're, if you're staying because you're too scared, because you think you're gonna be forced. To stay in a relationship, you're basically saying that you're forced, you're being forced to stay in a relationship. You might as well just say that. I thought girls were supposed to be stronger than men. I just, 
I just thought I put that. I just thought I put that out there. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But that's what I heard. I heard that girls are stronger than men. So I mean, just saying. Then you got the ones that love to, that love to get married as soon as they start going out, like as if as if this was a fairy tale. You're not fucking Cinderella. You're not. You're not that uh, that one chick off of Frozen. Um, you're not Sleeping Beauty. You're not a Disney princess, to, put, to, to basically put it in general. You're not a Disney princess. Why are you getting married as soon as you met the guy? Like, 30 seconds after you met the guy. Like, come on. I had... I had... I, had, um, I, know, he's one, I know he's one people. Uh, I bet they're not doing so hot right now. Uh, I don't know what their status is. They probably, they probably like, bro. I don't know. But, um... Start, just started going out, and, like, maybe less than a month later, like, a week or two later, and... My man's Nike, if you see this, uh, you know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm not putting their names out there. And you, if you know what I'm, if you know who I'm talking about, just say you know who I'm talking about. Don't put their names in the comments below because, you know, I'm not about that, you know, rumors and, you know, he said, she said things. So. But you know who I'm talking about. Um, and Anthony Monet, if, if you see this too, uh, you know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> Because me and you were sitting like in the office cracking the fuck up about it. You started going out and then you got and then you got down on one knee and asked me to marry you like two weeks later. Two weeks. Oh my god, my fingers. Two weeks later. And her dumb ass said yeah. <laughs> and the sad part was that I actually recorded it on my phone. <laughs> I still have the video. But I you know, I still have the video, but I'm not posting it because, you know, I'm not again. Saving myself. No, he said, she said, no drama type shit, so. Don't, 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 don't be one of those people to get married two weeks after you, after you meet that person. Because you don't know them. You don't clearly, you don't fully know their, their background. You don't know everything that they do. You can't learn everything about somebody in two weeks. You can't. Like, it's not, it's not possible. Because there's so much about a person that you can learn that's going to take you years to realize. You can even be in a you can even be in a relationship and be married to that person, but there's still stuff about him you don't know. And I would wait at least a year or two before you get married, because that's when you, you know, you learn you learn a lot about that person in about in about a year. You don't learn that much in two weeks. I'm just saying. I honestly can't say that I know how long this video is going to turn out to be, only because there was so much. There was so much that was going on in my head. I just like you know I gotta let all this stuff out one way or another. So I tried typing it out. Uh, my dumbass forgot to save, and it was a and it was a long ass paragraph too. So everything that I'm saying in this video is exactly what I typed. Well, not word for word exactly what I typed, but it was pretty damn. It was pretty damn close. There was more cuss words in the typing than it was in than it is in this video. So <laughs> that paragraph was pretty fucking long. And then last but not least, I don't want this to be about me because it's not really much my problem anymore. Maybe it still is. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me if it, if it still is my problem or not. I don't think it is. Because, you know, I'm just at that point where I just don't care anymore. And here's the reason why. Um, I, I ask girls out. I ask girls out because, you know, I'm not shy. You know, if I like somebody, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I can to, to get, get to them. Not gonna ask, I'm not going to ask them out like the day I meet them. But I'm going to wait a little bit. So, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to hang out with you for about a couple, like, weeks, maybe a month or two, you know, get to know you a little bit more, and then, and then after, after, like, I, st after, like, when I feel more comfortable to the point where I actually say, you know what, I want to go out with this girl, and I asked them, and I asked them, but then, you know, they reject me and said no, for reasons that, um, I find pretty hysterical. Uh, these were the reasons. It was either, I'm sorry, but you're a cool dude, but you're just somebody I don't need in my life right now. That, or, I'm sorry, but you, I need a hood nigga in my life. I was laughing really hard at that one. That was funny. He said, I need a hood nigga in my life. Really? You need a hood nigga? You need a hood nigga? No, you don't. No, you don't. You need Jesus. That's what you need. If you need a hood nigga, you also need Jesus. Because he needs to fix you. Um, sorry. But, um, <clears throat> and then my, my personal favorite, this one, you're just too nice. I'm just too nice. 
I'm too nice to a girl, so they won't go out with me. To all the, to all the, to all the guys out there that, that are that are kind of like me, that are like, well, I'm not going to say kind of like me, but like to all the guys out there that are actually, you know, good guys, that actually, you know, take the time to get to know a girl and like freaking, uh, you know, take them out and treat them special. How would you how would how would you guys how would you guys feel if somebody told somebody told you they wouldn't go out with you because you were just too nice? Like how would you feel? Um leave them in a leave them in the comments down below. You know, if you wanna if you wanna share your stories, I'm open to listen. So, you know. Share your stories, man. Because um I'm pretty sure you feel my pain right now and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna feel your pain. But that that one that one stuck to me the most and it kind of hurt. Again, I'm not making this about me, but but I'm just saying. Like speaking from my own personal experience of of having that excuse, um, that hurt. It really do. Like so, you mean to tell me that if I was more like a hood nigga, if I was if I was more hard and I sagged my pants a little bit more and I start listening to rap music, and you know I start and I start saying the word nigga after every like after every word and every sentence, you would actually run out with me. Or maybe if I was like tatted from like my face down to my feet, or maybe even like in between my butt cheeks, then you would have went out with me. That's what that's what you guys that's what you guys are saying. Maybe maybe you're not saying that. Maybe you say something else. But that's how we're perceiving it. We're perceiving it like that. See, this is why you have to be careful with what you say because people will take things the wrong way and they will have like a different mind function. And will think otherwise. So in my head right now, I'm thinking, in order for me to go out with you, I have to have tattoos, I have to curse a lot, and I have to uh, sag my pants. And I have to have a second grade education or less. That's mainly it. Thanks. And then the worst part about it, out of all people you could possibly go to to ask for advice, you're going to ask the one person that you rejected on advice on how you can keep the other guy. Are you kidding me? Like, for real, are you kidding me? Of course, then, of course, then you know, you know what, it's my fault too. Because my dumb ass will actually sit there and give you advice on how to keep the other dude. When in all reality, I'm just like, I'm sitting in my head, why are you going out with that guy? That guy's a douche. You should actually break up with him and go with me. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying in my head. I'm not going to lie. That's exactly what I'm saying in my head. So I will actually sit here and listen to you talk about your problem. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about him. I just love him too much. I don't understand why he doesn't love me back. Why can I never find somebody act that will actually treat me right? And just love me. And at that point, that's when, that's when you gotta stop and think about that, set, about that question she just asked and just said. Why can't I find somebody that will actually treat me right? And just love me, like, like you didn't have somebody who actually might have, or actually might will do those things for you, ask you out, and you rejected them. Not, not that, not that that dude's like standing in front of you. Not that you're talking to him or anything, because you know, because you know, people like that don't exist. I'm just. Oh, when people when people say that in front of me, I I get I I'm not gonna lie, I get I get weird, but they'll never know about it. But like I get weird in my head, and in my head I'm just like I'm punching walls, bricks, anything. I'm punching like I'm punching my brother's face on some occasions because you know there's times where he irks the shit out me, and I just have to I just want to feel like I just want. But no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, bro. If you see this, I'm I'm kidding. I love you. Like don't 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 kill me when I come home. Just so from now on. Uh, I'm not giving out any more advice. Well, okay. Let me let me let me actually rephrase that. I will only give out advice to people who truly needs it, who truly deserves my advice. Because those other people that I keep making the same mistakes, even after I give you advice and you don't listen to me the first time, 
you guys can suck it. Because um, now it's just going to be like, it's, it's, it's on you now. It's on you. You keep making mistakes, you're going to have to live by it. I'm sorry, but it's the way it's going to be. And, you know, so now I'm at this point where, like, you come up to me with your problems. All I'm going to do is laugh at your face and say that's what you get. And I'm going to walk away calmly as possible. You know, like the boss. You know, with my little stunner shades and, you know, my jacket that I don't have. But, uh, you know, I would have expected you guys to know better, but yeah, I don't, so it's like, why am I even wasting my time, why am I wasting my breath talking to you, when clearly nothing's going on up there. Like, everything I say just goes through one ear and out the other. Like, as if, like, it did, as if anything I said didn't matter to you, as if it didn't make sense. As if it don't exist. Like, in your brain, you're just like, wait, he was formulating words? He was giving me advice? Hmm. Didn't notice. At that, point, at that point, I just give up. I give up on you guys. I give, I give up on the generation at hand. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. That's all I have. This, that's all I have to get off my chest. So I'm ending it right here. But before I do, let me repeat this again one more time for anybody that probably felt offended by this whole video. That probably shouldn't have got offended because, as I stated the first time in the beginning of the video, this is not for everybody. I know everybody is not like this. So, if you're one of those people that are actually being smart about your decisions, if you're actually, you know, if this person is not you, don't feel offended. If you know people like this, by all means, show them this video. And then maybe have a sit down with them. Because they need it. They also need Jesus too. But that's a, that's a whole other story. And that's not, that's not my dilemma. That's, that's not my part. I can't, you know, I'm not, re I'm not really of a religious, I don't know how to say it. I, I've, I don't really give religious political views and advice. So that's for, as for somebody else, you can look on somebody else's channel about that. Uh. I don't know, there's plenty of channels for that. That's about it, and I'm also posting this on two different places. I'm posting this on my YouTube channel, so for those people who are watching this on YouTube, this is also on my Facebook. And for those people that are watching this on Facebook, this is also on my YouTube channel. So, I'll put links on both ends. I'll, for YouTube, I'll put a link to my, to my Facebook page, and for Facebook, I'll put a link to my YouTube page, so vice versa. Both will have links to eat to each other. So if you can't see it on, if you can't see it in one place, you can probably see it in another. And if you can't see it in one, and you know, vice versa, basically. So I'm out this piece. I'm out this piece. I'm out this bitch. Later's.